Hi guys, welcome back to Decorating Happily Ever After. I'm Jeffrey Kevin. Well, the new year is about to dawn. 2022 will be gone just in a few days and 2023 will be full of new beginnings. So I've set us a New Year's tablescape. I'm using a dramatic color scheme of black and gold with fresh flowers and some New Year accents. So let's take a look around the table. For today's table, my black cloth is making a return. I use it a lot. I got this one uh, on eBay. And I'm also using some gold chargers. Uh, these came from Dollar Tree and they have a ridged scalloped edge. I'm going to be pairing some dinner plates that have a black band and a gold edge. Uh, I have got these at um, Hobby Lobby this year. And for the salad plates, I'm using these pretty uh, cherub plates. Uh, they've got little ribbons and they're outlined in black. I didn't have any New Year's babies, so these cherub babies will have to do. <laughs> uh, I got these from a mail order company years ago, Domestications. I'm going to be using my knife rest today. And I'm going to use the gold flatware. For the stemware, I'm using my black glasses. And I'm also going to pair these pretty uh, gold glasses. They have an etched design and a gold rim. I got these at TJ Maxx years ago. I'm also going to be using these sweet little espresso cups. Uh, they're in a black and gold design. And I'm going to place them here where normally the bread and butter plate should go. But I can't seem to squeeze them on the other side, so we're going to let them stay there for today. I also have these sweet little demi tasse spoons uh, that I would like to put in the cup because it's more aesthetically pretty. But uh, my British folks get on to me for that. That is a faux pas. We're supposed to rest them there on the saucer. So we will do that. <laughs> And for my dinner napkins, I'm using gold with gold fern leaf napkin rings. And as a final touch, I have my 2023 little party horn. All that glitters is gold for this tablescape anyway. <laughs> Here for my centerpiece, uh, I've used some fresh yellow roses and some lilies. And I've just loosely arranged them in this gold mercury glass vase. It was a gift from a friend. Thanks, Miss Allison. And it worked out perfect for today's tablescape. And of course, you guys know I love a huge arrangement but at least this one's up high and we can peek under it. <laughs> and on each side here, uh, I've put some little party hats uh, with the 2023 in black and gold. And I just picked these up at the store. Uh, I think I got these at Walmart. And I've also got some pointed ones here at the back. I don't use a lot of paper goods as a general rule. I try to avoid them, but for the new year, what else can you find uh, that has the date on it? <laughs> I've also, around on the table, strewn these little curlicues. I've just made a circle around the vase, and then I've got them winding around between things here along the table. Uh, I found these in the party section at Hobby Lobby. And I've just fanned them out a little bit and put them in between all the party goods. 
I also have other mercury glass um, candles on the table. These, uh, I believe, I picked up at Walmart. And then I've got sort of this honeycomb design. I found those at uh, Marshall's. And there in the back, I have a flared uh, one that I got also at Marshall's. And I've just put ivory candles in them. At this end of the table, I have a gold coffee pot and sugar and creamer. I picked those up uh, at an antique shop, I believe, years ago. And the star of the show is, of course, my clock. Uh, this is a reproduction of, of a pocket watch, I guess a larger version. And I keep this upstairs uh, in the caravan room and I thought it would be perfect to kind of represent the passage of time. The little espresso cups uh, they were a um, thrift store find. Mother called me one day and said, would you like some little small espresso cups in black and gold? I said, sure. Uh, I didn't have this table in mind, but I knew I would use them for something. And I put some little small votives and they're in the matte gold and in the shiny gold. Here at this end, I have a gold poinsettia snuffer. And I've set a black cupcake stand that I've put a little cloche or dome on top. I like to do that. This little cupcake stand is new. Uh, I got it at Marshall's. It looks like the Mosier. Uh, cake stands, but it is not. It's actually a porcelain one that's painted black. Really, the only difference is if you were to break them, the Mosier ones are black all the way through, a black glass where those are not. But we hope not to break any of them. <laughs> and here at this end, I've got a vintage uh, pitcher. It belonged to my grandmother in the amber color, kind of the gold amber. And I've set these uh, little hats, party hats, on these gold stands. I suppose uh, they could be used as cupcake stands or for a candle. I found those this year at Dollar General. And they don't have anything to do with the tabletop at all, but they were black and gold. So I put one of my pairs of opera glasses here. <laughs> you never know what I may put on a table. <laughs> This corner I have a, a jam jar it's trimmed out in the gold and I'm also using my black Mosher cake stand and I put a large dome on top of it If you're dining with me this New Year's, there's a high probability you might ingest some glitter. But I took great pains when I set this table to put the dishes on last and do all the glittery stuff first. I actually decorated down the center of the table first, uh, and then I used my mini vac to 
vacuum up all the stray glitter and I put the china on last. <laughs> but anyway, if glitter could kill someone, I would have been dead a long time ago. <laughs> It's hard to believe another year has passed. But I'm hopeful that we'll have many happy things coming in the year to come. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave me a comment below and give this video a thumbs up and share it with a friend. Be sure and subscribe to my channel, Decorating Happily Ever After, and turn on the notifications bell so you never miss a video. I'm Jeffrey Kevin, hoping that you have a blessed and prosperous new year. Bye-bye now.